both Somalia and South Sudan are part of uh, a group of countries that uh, are in peril of famine, and in the case of South Sudan, uh, famine has already been declared. So there's a catastrophic food uh, insecurity situation in, uh, in both of these countries. Um, what I would say in terms of our overall impression of, uh, of the response in Somalia is that the needs are moving very quickly, they're escalating, but the response is currently keeping pace with those needs. That does not mean that we need, we should be uh, complacent, but it does mean that we've got the right teams on the ground doing an outstanding job, very innovative, very creative, very courageous. Then moving to uh, South Sudan, well this is a country where we have declared famine. So 100,000 people are already suffering uh, from famine um, in Mayandit and, uh, and uh, Unity, uh, sorry, in Lear counties. Um, um, we, we have 100,000 people and we have another million people um, very close to um, uh, being declared as affected by, by famine. Um, so this obviously gives us uh, a huge uh, impetus um, because uh, we have to, again, uh, win that race against time for the million um, and get uh, a, a huge age effort, aid effort to, to those that are, that are already uh, caught up. The face of this crisis is a woman with her child. In both countries, we have um, over 200,000 um, pregnant women that are affected. And what we saw is that because of the impact of the drought, the men have stayed behind um, on the farms, waiting for the rains and to tend livestock. It's the women that have moved often for many days, walking with their children to seek relief. And it's these women who, yes, there's malnutrition, yes, there's cholera, but in the context of this, there's also um, great risk, um, risk for um, sexual violence. And the protection concerns for this population cannot be underestimated.